Uh, Assassin's Creed Infinity is a platform, not a new game, Ubisoft says. I mean, didn't we? We knew that, that, but they 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 never announced it, really. It was just assumed that was what it's going to be. So it will be games as a service? Uh, I'm assuming. Well, I don't know if it's games as a service or, like, if it's just the, like, centralized, like, Assassin's Creed launcher. (laughs) Uh, It's hard to say exactly. Oh, yeah. Infinity is going to be a hub that will unite all our different experiences and our players together yeah. in a meaningful, in meaningful ways. Yeah. So I think there might be like free to play experiences in there. Like maybe the Assassin's Creed multiplayer is in there. Like their for honor esque multiplayer thing they're going to do. But like, yeah. I think you're going to go in there and be like, Oh, you own Assassin's Creed Mirage coming soon. Uh, you launch it from there. Maybe and then, and then I don't it intertwines with everything else. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess so. It's a little weird. Ubisoft is weird with this shit, though. Oh, yeah. so. so according to Ubisoft executive producer Mark Alexis Colte, uh-huh. it will be a platform through which Assassin's Creed fans can visit all the adventures spent in the past 15 years of the globe trotting historical sci-fi and series. It really makes it sound like it's going it, to be Yeah, it makes a it sound like it's just a launcher. But, I mean, maybe it's more like Halo Waypoint. Did you yeah, ever look at no. the Halo Waypoint? No. It was like an app for the Xbox where you could go in and it would have like all information about Halo and the, you know, different cutscenes and whatever you could look at. It's sort of like an app within the Master Chief collection. Yeah. Uh, I think... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Assassin's Creed... I, I mean, Ubisoft does a lot of weird stuff, so... Yes. We'll see wh- how it goes anyways. The uh, other things that the Ubisoft has announced with, like, this is a bunch of games. Oh, and I told you I was going to tell you you had to play an Assassin's Creed for a racist reason, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yeah, it's because one's in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of your heritage, man. It is part of that, and that's racist? Well, I mean, it's it's, literally is. Maybe it's not racist, but it's like stereotypical. Like, (laughs) hey, you're going to love this game. It takes place in Japan. (laughs) Um, The yeah, there's they've got one coming in Japan announced. There's one in China, I think. But the next one is Mirage, which takes place in Baghdad. Back to the more there. The way the rumor is, is going to be back to the more original Assassin's Creed like. Stealth climbing and that's it yeah not really the like and slashing yeah the like big f- fights and everything like that which is fine i like the assassin's creed when they were like that but i like the new ones too so i mean i think they could both exist in this world you could have like the big ass open world valhalla style rpg random loot all that shit but you could also have like this you know, open world Assassin's Creed stealth type of game. Yeah. I like them both. So um, I'm interested to see what's going on. I think the, they've been getting a little big, the Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> yeah. Like I've played Valhalla for like 50 hours and like <laughs> I'm like not even close to beating that game. And I haven't done that much side content. It's just there's just so much shit in it. Whereas, like, Assassin's Creed 1, I got every achievement in it. Assassin's Creed 2, I got every achievement in it. Yeah. Like, I wrapped them up. So. I think if I was going to play a game for a racist reason, <laughs> it'd be Ghost of Tsushima. Oh. <laughs> it's not racist. It's stereotypical. It's stereotypical, yes. But that was made by all white people. Yeah, I guess Assassin's Creed in Japan is going to be made by white people, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Ghost of Tsushima looks good, too. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm always interested in what's going to go with Assassin's Creed. You sure are. <laughs> oh, and I think actually Infinity, I think I read that they said that more of the modern day stuff is going to be in the Infinity part. Yeah. Like all the outside of the Animus oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff, it's going to be like in there, which is fine. That's probably the least favorite part of the games is oh, I'm out of the Animus again. Oh, fuck. I got to <laughs> run around as this regular person. But I mean... This is spoilers for like a 15 year old game now, but like the way Assassin's Creed, it looked like it was going to go is like Desmond is training up 
to be an assassin in Assassin's Creed. And at the end of the games, you're going to be outside of the Animus, like fighting people. You do it a little bit, but like it's not the way I was thinking it was going to go. Yeah. Hmm. Which was kind of a missed opportunity in my opinion. It ended up being like Desmond is a badass in a cutscene. <laughs> oh no! So badass in a cutscene, the worst way you to do be a some. Badass. You do some stuff as a Desmond, but not really as much as I hoped. So in Assassin's Creed Two, though, it's really cool because as Desmond like gets better, you can explore the castle outside of the Animus better. Yeah, like he'll learn how to do like a jump. And grab and stuff like that. Yeah. So I was hoping for more of that, but it never happened. That's and like, bad. as the series goes on, it's like the animus outside animus stuff is just like less and less. Like in one of them, it's like a first person like thing. It's crazy. So anyway, anyways, Assassin's I have nothing Creed. to say about Assassin's Creed. Oh, damn. I like the movie. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I should probably watch that. It's yeah, I liked it. I mean, it's Michael Fassbender. What, what's not to like? I guess so. Yeah. 